Hi, I'm Larry Wilson and I'm the author of Safe Start and Safe Track. Now, in the past 10 years, over one and a half million people in 38 countries have taken these courses. Average injury reductions are 60 to 90% in two to three years. Although thousands of companies have been successful with these programs, we thought it would be much more effective if it was customized to make it specific to the construction environment. And let's face it, the construction environment is a bit different. There are three main components to this course. The first is Safe Start an advanced safety awareness training program designed to help you prevent the errors and mistakes you were never trying to make in the first place, like falling asleep at the wheel or falling down a set of stairs. Now the second is Safe Track, a positive, non-punitive observation and feedback tracking process. And the third component is a series of 40 toolbox or tailboard sessions designed to reinforce these concepts on a weekly basis. These are three to five minute DVD segments designed to stimulate a meaningful discussion around these concepts and techniques. These were all real stories that we got and almost every one of them had something to do with Safe Start because Safe Start is about rushing, frustration, fatigue and complacency and the critical errors those four states can cause which are eyes not on task, mind not on task, moving into or being in the line of fire, or somehow losing your balance, traction, or grip. And these four states and these four errors are involved in over 95% of all acute injuries, whether they're on the job, off the job, or on the highway. The Safe Start course consists of two one and a half to two hour modules. In each module, there are question and answer workbooks, videotapes, and group discussion exercises. There are also four take-home DVDs for you and your family. The first family DVD is Taking Safe Start Home. This is a three-part DVD aimed primarily at children ages six to 15. The second DVD, Heard at Home, is for parents, guardians, and babysitters. The third family take-home DVD, Safe Start on the Road, is for older teenagers and their parents to help them prevent critical errors while driving. There's also a five unit online course that you can take with your family for free on the web. Now, the Safe Start on the Road DVD directs people to take the five unit course, but you don't have to be an older teenager to do this. As long as you can read, you can do the course by yourself. But many parents have actually found doing the units with their children was really enjoyable. They had a lot of fun doing it, gave them something to do together as well. So you'll get the access codes, passwords, stuff like that, everything you need at the end of your last unit of the Safe Start training here at work. And finally, the fourth family take home DVD is the Boo Boo Bandits. And this is primarily aimed at preschool kids, but what we found is that kids of all ages really tend to like it. What we did with this one is we made these hazards that get them hurt on a daily basis come to life. So there's Mr. Slippery, Mr. Sharp, Miss Hard, and Miss Hot. Kids turn into superheroes and they actually zap the boo-boo bandits. We actually brought in a two-time Grammy Award winner, Peebo Bryson. This is Hollywood quality, and the kids think it's really cool. It's a very entertaining DVD. There's also a game in the DVD, and the kids love playing the game. And the more they play the game, the better they get at instant hazard recognition. Safe Track, the second component, is a positive, non-punitive observation and feedback process. Now, while everybody might get observed on a work site, Usually only about 10 to 20% of the workforce actually takes the two-day SafeTrack training course. With SafeTrack, people are going out to make positive, non-punitive observations on their coworkers. They're making these observations with permission, and then they are going to track the critical behaviors in terms of were they safe, were they at risk, or if nobody was doing anything like that, not applicable to that observation. And then we can look at the data and we can see trends in safe or at-risk behavior so we can make really targeted improvement solutions. And finally, the third component are the 40 toolbox or tailboard sessions. 
And these were designed so that basically we could do one a week and this way we could reinforce the concepts and techniques on a weekly basis. As opposed to a lot of safety courses where it's a one-shot deal and then you're hoping people remember the stuff for the rest of their lives. The stories and reenactments that are in these toolbox DVDs, these are actually things that happen to construction workers. And wherever possible, we tried to get the actual person to tell the story. And when we couldn't do that, we at least tried to get the co-worker who was in the area to tell the story for us. Right next to me was a welder. He just got through welding on a, uh, a head for a tank. He was trying to meet his quota for that day. He grabbed a, uh, a grinder which didn't have the guard on it. As he was grinding, the seven inch grinder hit off the head, caught his shirt which was real loose and unbuttoned. And as it caught, the grinder cut through his glove and cut across and hit all of his tendons. He lost pretty much use of his hand. Um, being a welder, that was the hand he welded with, and that was his only means of income. He had a family, small children, stuff like that, so he had to relearn how to weld with his opposite hand. Instead of kicking off to his right, it could have totally wrapped up in his shirt and come across his stomach. I mean, cut him wide open. On the other hand, it could have bounced off, missed him, and caught me right across the small of my back. You should always pre-inspect your, your grinder, uh, any tool that you pick up. Make sure it's been color-coded, make sure it has the guard in place, it has the handle, and the safety switch on the trigger is in place. You should never take the guard off. The guard's there for safety. You know, it's there to protect you and people around you. Never work in loose clothing. Always keep your shirt either tucked in or something that's not baggy, because it can always get caught in a rotating part. Always keep your sleeves buttoned. If your sleeves aren't buttoned, if they have frays on them, uh, especially a buffing wheel, it can get caught up there to pull your shirt off or come back on you and cut you. Rushing can easily lead to problems with line of fire. You're not thinking about what could be coming at you because you're moving around too fast, or you might be doing too many things at once to be thinking about what might be coming at you. So rushing can easily lead to line of fire, but complacency goes right along with mind not on task. That's actually part of the definition, is that you are thinking about something else other than the risk of what you're doing at the moment. And also the complacency can easily lead to line of fire because you're not worried, you're not apprehensive about something coming towards you. So you're not, you're not thinking about it, you're not looking for it, and then boom, that's what happens. The first critical error reduction technique is you have to learn how to self-trigger on the state. So if you find yourself rushing, frustrated, or tired, instead of thinking about why you're in a rush, you want that first thought to be eyes, mind, line of fire, balance, traction, grip. Okay, I'll hurry.
The original goal of Safe Start was to help people reduce accidental injuries everywhere, on the job, off the job, and on the highway. Now, every year, over 5,000 workers die on the job, and a very high percentage of them are contractors, people who work in the construction industry. Maybe more importantly, over 7,000 children die accidentally every year. Accidental injury is the leading cause of death for people 1 to 44. So we're really hoping that these products, these tools, help you and your family from becoming just another one of those statistics. Now, I got four kids of my own, and they do all kinds of dangerous stuff, especially out there on the ski hill. But you look at where they really get hurt, it's just doing the simple stuff, you know, the up and down the stairs, the not paying attention. So you gotta keep working with your family, you gotta keep working with your kids with these tools, and we're gonna keep making more product, more DVDs, and more tools so we can hopefully help you out in the future as well.